Notice the techniques this rigger uses to maintain a good division of the canopy. Using your hands or packing paddles, make appropriately sized S-folds. Usually two S-folds will suffice. Remember, the thickness of the rig and the distance between the bottom grommet and the vertical partition determine the length of these folds. Narrow the bunny ears and fold them under. Pull the bag over the pack job. Don't worry if the pack job gets a little messy here. There is nothing you can do to affect the opening at this point as long as the lines are straight and the slider is up. The rubber band flap is on top, the lattice work is down. Push the bag in the canopy evenly before making your first stow. Use the rubber band flap to control the canopy and push it inside the bag. Leave enough slack in the lines exiting the bag so as not to shorten the rubber band flap. The line bites should be even with the edge of the bag. 25% of the stow is outboard of the rubber band, 50% is in between, and 25% is outboard of the opposite rubber band.
leave 12 to 16 inches of unstowed line. This allows the risers to go to their respective corners unhindered and reduces the bag and line twists. Lay the risers in the container so they gradually climb the side walls. This will make the rig more comfortable on the wearer's back. If you've maintained a good division of the canopy, you will be able to simply impale the bag with the bodkin that is already in the container. There are three grommets in most reserve speed bags. Use the bottom grommet for racers with a 6 inch diameter pilot chute and the middle grommet for racers with the 4 inch SRP pilot chute. Always use the topmost grommet for the top closing loop. Tuck the lower corners of the bag into the lower corners of the container. The bottom of the container should be firm and full. The top of the container will be soft and thin. <laughs> 